What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Corner, man. First off, if you like the content that you're getting here, please go on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. If you're listening to this on a podcast, go to any of your podcast streaming you know, services and give me a five-star comment, like some kind of review. Helps out immensely when it comes to you know getting other things for these, uh, this uh, podcast. So on that note, guys, we are going to talk today about the LJ Johnson effect. So if you guys have been reading all the boards, you know anything that has to do with any kind of rumors, when it comes to Texas recruiting, just figured out that more than likely Texas is not going to be getting LJ Johnson, the number two running back in the country, um, uh, you know, high four star, almost five star, you know, um, athlete coming from Cy Fair uh, High School out, out in the Houston area. All right, not getting LJ Johnson, I think it's a big blow, guys. I mean, just for the simple fact that he might be going to the Aggies. You know, we don't want to see a great player like that not come to Texas and end up going to one of our, you know, most hated rivalries, but that's a good pickup when it comes to Texas A&M. However, LJ Johnson would have been a perfect you know, person for Texas to get here, especially this new Texas staff, to flex some muscle and say, hey, we're here to stay. We're here to get some great recruits. Obviously, it's probably not going to happen. Um, so what are the effects of that? All right. So first off, guys, let's just talk about LJ Johnson just a little bit. He's one of those guys when you turn on this film, you're like, this guy's a beast. He's a baller. He knows how to run that ball. He's tough. He played in 5A ball. Some of the best ball here in the state. Did a really good job. He, you know, like first side fair. Just a really, really good player. Runs tough. Runs with a mean streak. I mean, he is a guy that you want on your team. All right, so when you start looking at the rosters here, Texas and Texas A&M, Texas, we got Bijan, right? So Bijan's going to get those carries, guys. He is going to get those carries. And LJ and Bijan are almost like the same kind of runner, you know? And I say that, you know, just for the simple fact that neither one of these guys are like change of pace backs. And so, you know, LJ Johnson going over to, you know, like to Texas A&M and being matched up with the running back that they have over there, his name's um, um, McCain. You know, he's a really good change of pace back. That really makes more sense. It makes more sense for him to see the field just a little bit more often there. Um, you know, so I get it. I get it. Um, honestly, us not getting LJ Johnson, it's not that it's not that big of a blow, guys. We got to look at what we got here in the 2021 cycle. We got Jonathan Brooks, man, from Houseville, Texas, right? In, you know, it's a small little town. It's 3A ball. It's right, like, in the center of... You know, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, just kind of right down there. You know, so it's a small little town, 3A school. And the only knock on Jonathan Brooks is that he did come from a smaller high school. But there's no knock on his stats. Jonathan Brooks was one of these guys that the previous coaching staff found out about really early. He was a three-star recruit back then. The staff got on him and, you know, figured out that this guy could ball. They got on him before anybody else could get on him. And uh, he ended up having 3,800 all-purpose yards this year, around 3,300 rushing yards. He's a monster, too. And so I don't think he's getting enough credit and enough love here. Max Preps, number one, first team, you know, tailback on Max Preps, man. So he's a good guy, man. He's going to be really good here on the 40. So when you start to look at things like that, LJ Johnson might not have been the guy that we needed. It had been somebody that I really wanted, though, just for the simple fact that you can't have enough good running backs and we're short on running backs. We only got Bijan, um, we got Roshan, we got Jonathan Brooks in that room, and we got some walk-ons in that room, okay? So now we got to find another running back. You know, missing out on the LJ was a big blow, but there are other running backs that Texas is, is actually looking at. You know, checking some of the message boards. I think this one was on a, on a Orange Bloods. Check to see that they got... Um, somebody that's on the radar right now for Texas. The guy's name is Jalen White from Dothan, Alabama. Um, and I did my research on this guy. You know, you know, my wife is from Alabama. So once I found out about this Jalen White kid, you know, made a couple phone calls to some family members down there. They said this kid's a monster, and they don't understand why Auburn hasn't, you know, offered him. Why, you know, why Bama hasn't offered him. They said he's a really quick twitch, you know, kid. A uh, really good change of pace back, and it's kind of exactly what we need here at Texas. Texas hasn't offered him yet, but I can pretty you know well you know, like like assure to you, hopefully that if he does get an offer, he will commit because he's kind of went through the process here. He's supposed to commit to Florida. Um, you know, tells the the staff there that he's ready to pull the trigger. They didn't have enough space. He waited too late. 
Same thing happened at Florida State. So he's gone through a couple instances here where he wasn't able to commit because he waited too late. I think if Texas offers him, you know, today or tomorrow, that he's going to pull on that offer real quick and commit as soon as he gets it because he wants to play at a D1 school. And he has D1 offers, guys. He has offers, you know, from Ole Miss and Mississippi State and Iowa. Um, Texas A&M's offered him. Uh, he's, he's, he has a bunch of offers, guys. But I think Texas is that school right now that's kind of risen to the top with him just for the simple fact that, hey, we got Steve Sarkeesian now. The offense is going to be great for like a running back like him. Bijan Robinson would probably be the bell cow here at Texas. And Jalen White could be that change of pace back. I mean, he's one of those guys. He's like 5'10", 5'10 and a half, about 185 pounds, but he's light and quick. You know, a one cut guy, you know, as soon as he gets the ball, he makes one cut and he is up the field for 30 or 40 yards. He can catch the ball really well, you know, you know, out the backfield. So when we look at this, guys, I did want LJ Johnson. You know, hopefully we still get LJ Johnson. Who knows? But, you know, just looking around now, it's looking like he is not going to be a Texas commit. And if he doesn't come here, guys, just remember, we got Jonathan Brooks. I think he's a sleeper that nobody's talking about. I mean, he is, you know, a top, what, 30, you know, like player in the state of Texas, which means you're really good in the state of Texas. He's a four-star kid, you know, like a high four-star kid, guys. So he can ball out. Like I said, Max Preps, uh, first team running back this year for all high school, you know, students. So this kid can ball out too, man. Like I said, 3,800. Uh, all purpose yards this year, you know, like just from scrimmage, 3,300, you know, rushing. He's tough. He's physical. He's another one that has a, a lot of wiggle in him, but he doesn't play around when he gets that ball. Jonathan Brooks, when he gets that ball, he hits the hole. He does what he has to do. He likes to make, you know, one linebacker miss, and then he's off to the races. So his season really reminds me of something that we saw in the previous two years with B. John Robinson in high school going against lesser competition and dominating them. Well, hey, what are you supposed to do? If you're a big fish in a small pond, I want you to dominate them so much that I have to take another look at you. So kudos to Stan Drayton um, just for finding this kid and doing the evaluation and the proper evaluation to get on, to get him here on campus, you know, get him signed up when he was a three-star, gets his four-star, a bunch of teams want him, and he was committed to the Horns from then on. So kudos to Stan Drayton for that. Kudos to getting that guy to recruit to Texas. Um, but like I said, I wanted LJ Johnson. We're probably not going to get him, but don't be too alarmed. Guys, we got Jonathan Brooks coming here. I think he's going to be a good one. And if LJ doesn't come here, be on the lookout for Jalen White from Dothan, Alabama. You can never go wrong with these kids. They're from these small towns. It, it, it Like these small town kids, they always remind me of East Texas. That's what I call Beast Texas. You know, I've been down to Dothan before, and it is like really nothing there. It's West Alabama. It's Southwest Alabama, um, a couple hours away from from Tallahassee is right there on the border, man. So, hey, these kids can ball. Like I said, reminds me of East Texas. Reminds me of like a cartridge or an ARP. They got a bunch of talent out there that's just that's just ready to be developed. And I think with this staff, we can get Jalen White to come here. If we don't get LJ Johnson, if Jalen comes here, I think he's going to be one of those guys that we're going to be very pleased that we got a good change of pace back with a bunch of speed, a bunch of quickness, a bunch of wiggle, who can make one cut up the field for 20, 30 yards at a time. And then you have a guy like B. John Robinson, who is just Mr. Everything here at Texas. And then you got Rojo, and then you got Jonathan Brooks, too. So that running back room will be solidified. I think we're going to be good here for a few years, and we can concentrate on getting some higher, uh, I wouldn't say higher impact guys, but some more running backs here for the 2022 cycle because we, we're going to need that room to be packed. It's so one thing about football, guys, that we know. Everybody gets injured in football. It just happens. Nobody's 100% healthy throughout the whole season. So we need the depth. We'll get it in 2022. But if LJ Johnson doesn't come here, guys, be on the lookout for Jalen White, Dothan, Alabama. Uh, he's going to be a baller, man. Um, I think we're going to get him. I hope we get him. Um, but, hey, we'll see what happens, guys. But on that note, man, I'm going to end this episode with my my message I always give you guys, do you, don't be afraid to fail. I grow your environment, understand your brilliance, man. And also, hey, last stand, 
hats, man. I got this shirt. This is like a, like an OG shirt, right? It's the Texas Fight shirt. Go to Last Stand Hats, man. They're an awesome company. I, I get a bunch of my stuff from there, man. So go get your stuff from there, too. But anyways, guys, I'm out, man. Salute to you guys. Out.